Hi guys and welcome back to Wonderfully and Fabulously Made. My name is Eileen and I'm so glad to be back on here with you all. I know that it has been a very long time since I've made a video but life has been extremely hectic and it just it feels great to be back. I wanted to start off this year by doing a declutter. I will be moving in July and I don't think I can take all of this makeup with me so I just want to go ahead and declutter, start getting rid of things. I've been watching the Marie Kondo series and it really has inspired me to get rid of a lot of things. So today I'm just going to start off with a simple lipstick declutter and from there we'll keep on moving through my collection. I hope that you guys will follow me on this journey and help me through. If you guys have any tips on the best ways to declutter, what you found to be helpful, then please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. So this is what we're starting with with my lipstick um, collection. This is a spinning tower. So this is one side. This side is all lip glosses. And then this is the other side. And then there is this jar organizer. Not jar, this little organizer. And this is a liquid lipsticks. And then over here all of this in the back and here these are all the lipsticks and um, lip glosses that I have so we're going to go through by brand and start decluttering so these are all the Smashbox products that I have uh, I have seven liquid lipsticks two of the glosses and three lipsticks that came in a holiday set i already got rid uh, i decluttered one of these minis to my mother about a year ago so now i'm going to go through and see what i'm keeping and what so i'm not these gonna... are the three smashbox lipsticks that i have this one here is fig inspiration and tabloid i am going to keep fig and get rid of these two so these are my two smashbox uh, glosses in oh what is this one this one is Crimson and Brains and Bronze and I'll be keeping these both. I'll be keeping both of these I use them all the time and they are some of my favorite most pigmented gloss These are all of the Smashbox liquid lipsticks that I have and of these I think I'm going to Get rid of all of them except for maybe one of the reds and I might keep this one around this one is out loud I might keep out loud around and um, see if I use it and if I don't use it within the next two months then I will get rid of it but yes as of now I'm going to get rid of these five and keep these two these are all of my buxom glosses from these I can keep it real easy the only one I am going to get rid of is this mini right here but everything else I will be keeping these are all of my bare minerals and Lorac glosses and lipstick I am going to be getting rid of all of them except for the Lorac lipstick I will be keeping this the bare minerals glosses I do enjoy but this packaging is a pain in the butt it's always leaking and getting on everything so every time i've i've had them standing up i've had them laying down and everything always gets sticky because the packaging leaks these Lorac glosses are very very pigmented i just don't use them so i'm not going to keep them these are all products that i only have one or two of from this batch i think the only one i'm I'm going to throw this one away. This is one of those Revlon um, lip butters. This is really, really old, but it was one of my favorites at one point. But I'm going to throw that away because it's really old. I'm thinking of getting rid of this mainly because of that right there, like the packaging leaks. But I do love this NARS lip. What is it called? It is the Power Matte Lip Pigment in Star Woman. I love the color, I love the formula, but the packaging, just like the Bare Minerals packaging, it leaks all over. So I might get rid of that. Um, this liquid lipstick from Makeup Forever. I never use it, 
the color is not my favorite so I think I'm gonna get rid of this um, this is one of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks from Huda Beauty so I'm not gonna get rid of that I just got this two days ago so I'm not getting rid of that these two I think I'm going to put into a makeup basket and see if I will use them because I do I used to love them and use them a lot I do enjoy the color but I have so many liquid lipsticks now that so hopefully after this declutter I will start using them again but I will do like I'm doing with the other um, with the Smashbox liquid lipsticks and if I don't use them within the next two months then I will declutter them and then I'm keeping everything else in this next group we have Too Faced, Kat Von D and Bite Beauty I am I think I'm only going to get rid of this one this bite beauty one um it's like a pinky color and I don't I don't really like that color too much so I'm gonna get rid of that one and I will be keeping the rest when it comes to my Mac lipsticks I will be keeping all of them I'm not going to declutter any of them because I use them all the time I love my Mac lipsticks and that's just something that um, I'm not ready to let go of maybe in future declutters I will let go of a few of them but from here up I'm not going to be getting rid of anything these are all of my ABH liquid lipsticks and actual lipsticks from this bunch I'm not going to get rid of any of the liquid lipsticks but I am going to get rid of these first two um, actual lipsticks they're too light for me and I don't enjoy them but I do enjoy these two darker ones these are all of my black radiance products I have three lipsticks two liquid lipsticks and three glosses I won't be getting rid of any of them these have to be some of my absolute favorite lip products that I have in my collection I just recently started using these black radiance products and I'm already obsessed with them and I want to get more um, this green and blue have become one of my absolute favorite greens and blues and this black is gorgeous it has like blue and green sparkles in it i wore it on top of a black lipstick the other day and it just it gave like a beautiful shimmery mermaid effect i really really enjoy these so i won't be getting rid of any of them these are all of the maybelline lip products that i own and again i will be keeping all of them i am going to be getting rid of a you hopefully <laughs> uh, more lip products so I know I've kept a lot but I will be getting rid of a few these are my four Stila liquid lipsticks these are the only Stila products I have I think yeah I think these are the only Stila products that I have but um I'm not a massive fan of this formula I do enjoy the colors but not the formula I'm gonna get rid of the red one and I think I am going to put these in the the little basket that I'm doing along with the Smashbox and those two LA Splash liquid lipsticks and come back to them in two months and if I have not used them then I will be decluttering them but right now these are going into my maybe pile these are all of my Milani products it is It is 30 products, I believe it is, so around there. Anyways, um, I'm going to keep these right here and get rid of the rest. So I'm going to keep nine and get rid of all of those. I do like this formula of lipsticks and the gloss. The gloss is really, really pigmented. I just, I have a lot of repeats of these colors. As you can see, there's four reds right there and I kept three reds yeah I kept three reds sorry no I kept two reds and I got rid of four of them and then there's some like deeper ones but I had a lot of repeat shades they're not the same shade it's just different tones of red and I don't need that many so I'm getting rid of all of these these are all of my color pop lip products I am going to be getting rid of all of these down here the two lippy sticks there's nothing wrong with them I just don't use them it's Goldie and Dukes 
pretty colors um, they last a very very long time and are very pigmented I just don't use them I don't reach for them and then these three are colors that I have in um, other brands that I like more than in this um, formula I don't really like the ultra satin I do like the ultra matte and I haven't tried their ultra glossy but I think the three of these are ultra satin and I just don't like that formula these are my wet and wild lip products I have three of the metallic lips and then five of the um, liquid lipsticks and then a bunch of the lipsticks I'm going to be getting rid of these five lipsticks and this um, liquid lipstick this is video vixen I'm getting rid of that one because I have goth topic I think is that what it's called yeah goth topic and it's almost the exact same color when they're swatched on the lips they look almost exactly the same it's just one is browner than the other so I'm going to keep goth topic and get rid of video vixen and then I'm getting rid of all of these little pinks because they just do not look good on my skin tone so I'm gonna get rid of them and keep these over here I absolutely hate the wet and wild um, lipstick packages I they may have changed them but the tops always get all dirty the sides of the lipsticks always get all dirty they're not my favorite at all but I love the lipsticks themselves so that's what I'm gonna get rid of and that's what I'm keeping this is the last group of lip products that I have and I think it might be my biggest group it's between this and um, wet and wild either way no, I, it's, I'm almost positive it's these. But I'm going to start over here. I have three of the soft matte lip creams. And from these, I am going to keep two and get rid of Transylvania. Then I have, I used to have three of these. And I've slowly gotten rid of all of them. It's the Mega Shine Lip Gloss. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I haven't seen them in store. But I'm going to be getting rid of this one. I have two of the liquid suede's. I'm going to keep both of these. And I have two of the cosmic metals. I love these and I'm going to keep both of them. And here I have five of the intense butter glosses. I think I might get rid of... Hmm. Um, and I'm going to get rid of these two, but I'm kind of stuck on this one. I don't know if I should get rid of it or keep it. I don't know what to do with it. I, I think I'm going to put this one in that makeup basket and come back to it in two months. But I am going to get rid of these two. I love this formula, but I'm, I'm not a massive fan of super glossy red and super glossy pink lips, especially since it does move throughout the day and gets everywhere. And I'll keep these two. I have two of the uh oh, that's fine. I have two of the lingerie uh, glosses, and I'm gonna keep both of these. I only have one of the lingerie lipsticks and uh, liquid lipsticks, and I will keep this one. Then I have my butter glosses. Um, this one is hard for me too. I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. I think I'm going to get rid of peaches and cream. Mm, do I want to keep? I'm gonna. I'm gonna get rid of uh, vanilla cream pie. I'm going to get rid of this red. I'm gonna keep these two. I'm gonna keep that one. I think I might keep I'm gonna keep the rest of these I'm gonna keep all of those because these are not as pigmented as the intense butter glosses and um, I usually put them on top of a lipstick or something like just right in the center of the lips so I will keep all of those but that was everything in my collection and I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit once I put everything back I am going to show you the um, organization of what I'm left with and how much space I now have in my lipstick um, in my lipstick collection and I'll show you a little bag of everything that I'm getting rid of 
So I just wanted to come back on and say that while I was putting my lip products away, I did kind of go back and realize that I did not want all of these. These are the minis that I had kept. Um, I'm going to give them, I'm going to declutter them. Those four NYX butter glosses, the two Smashbox, all of the ones that I had in my maybe pile, I decided to just go ahead and declutter them. I still have a lot of lip products left, which you'll see in a minute. And I realized that there's no need for me to keep these when I know that my mom, my sister, and a few of my friends will really enjoy them. And there's no need for me to hold on to them and let them go bad when I'm going to already have a difficult time just getting through the other lip products that I have. So I did decide to go back and declutter these. These are all the lip liners, the drugstore lip liners that I have. Um, I'm only going to be getting rid of these two and this one, I think this one too, what else, let's see, what else am I going to get rid of, um, I love my browns, so I'm not going to get rid of those, I think this one, Rock and Rose, I think this one I might throw in a maybe, I want to try it out with one of the new, um, soy lipsticks that I got and see if it matches and if not then I'll declutter it but um I will keep the rest of these this is the after shot of my lip slip lip product declutter um here is the spinning tower as you can see it is no longer full all the way to the bottom this is the side my mac side and the other side these are all glosses on the other side, um, Maybelline Super Stay Matting and my Black Radiance products. And then here is my six compartment um, organizer. Now I have all of my lip liners in there and all of my liquid lipsticks in here. And over here, the only lip products I have is this little center compartment. And all this is is six NYX. Is it on NYX? Yeah, no, it's five of the NYX butter glosses and then my Wet n Wild um, liquid cat suits. And that's it. There's no lip products anywhere else. I managed to get it down. It used to be that this right here was all full. There was some in here and I had a few up here. And now everything is contained in these three areas and this area is empty. For my end goal, I would love to have all of my lip products only in this tower and have nothing anywhere else. But that's something that I will work up to slowly. So this is everything that I decluttered. Doesn't look like a lot, but I'm proud of myself. I thought I was gonna do way worse and keep a lot more than I did keep, but I got rid of a lot of things and a few things that I didn't think I would get rid of, but I did pretty good. My mom's gonna be happy. She's gonna get a lot of good stuff out of this.